Seeds and Fruits, Science Video for 6th Grade, Unit 2, First Trimester, 2021. What happens after fertilization? After the ovary is fertilized, it starts growing until it turns into a fruit. The ovules then become the seeds of that fruit. Those seeds can be planted to have new plants. When those seeds sprout or germinate, they start growing as new plants. This process can be repeated as many times as the seed remains healthy and good to produce more plants. The growth process of a fruit, watermelon. When the plant of a watermelon has flowers, a flower with a female uh, reproductive system can be fertilized by a flower with a male reproductive system. Then the fruits grows from those flowers. This new fruit provides seeds that can be planted and those seeds will germinate to produce new plants. And the circle goes on and on and on as life continues. Seed dispersal. One of the most common ways of dispersing seeds is accomplished by humans. That, that means they take the seeds from one plant and they will put them on dirt and they will try to grow new plants. Other ways of seed dispersal are the explosive action of fruits or flowers, water, wind, or animals. When the fruits are very ripe or the flowers are very mature, they drop the seeds and there will be the possibility of growing new plants. Water is also a bearer or a carrier of seeds. Wind also contributes to disperse seeds in many other places. And animals also contribute to disperse seeds, for example, spiders or birds. Growing plants from seeds. Plants are living things. They play a very important role in our lives. They give us lots of things like food, sugar, oil, wood, fibers, rubber, gum, tea, coffee and spices. They also give us oxygen for breathing. To meet our needs, we need to grow plants. Let us read how we grow plants. We can grow plants through seeds, stems, roots and leaves. Seeds are present inside fruits. New plants grow from seeds. Let us study the structure of a kidney bean seed. Seed coat An outer covering protects the baby plant inside. Seed hole Allows water to enter the seed. Cotyledons Store food for the baby plant. Embryo Grows into a baby plant. A plant produces many seeds. 
but all seeds do not grow into new plants some seeds are eaten by animals and humans some seeds are weak and do not grow some seeds are destroyed by wind or rain some seeds do not get the proper conditions needed to grow when a healthy seed gets right conditions right amount of air water and warmth it grows into a baby plant called seedling the process by which a seed grows into a new plant is called germination during germination the seedling gets food from the seed leaves called cotyledons the seedling uses stored food until it grows its own roots and leaves after the food stored in the cotyledons has been used they shrink and fall off the seedling grows in size and develops leaves which make food for the plant through photosynthesis the roots of the plant absorb water and minerals from the soil seed dispersal when many seeds are sown too close to each other they struggle for nutrients even after germination the seedlings do not get enough sunlight air water and space as a result many seedlings die thus it is important that seeds are scattered over a wide area so that each seedling gets enough sunlight air water and space to grow seeds of some plants are scattered naturally to ensure that they do not grow too close to each other the process by which seeds are scattered away from the mother plant is called seed dispersal some seeds have special features that allow them to disperse some seeds are dispersed by agents like wind water animals and human beings these are called agents of dispersal dispersal by wind seeds that are light and have hair or wing like structures on them are dispersed by wind cotton and dandelion seeds have fine hair and are easily carried away by wind dispersal by water seeds of some plants can float on water and are carried away by water lotus plant has a spongy light fruit which can float on water coconut has fibrous covering that helps it to float on water lotus and coconut seeds are dispersed by water dispersal by animals birds and animals eat fruits at times undigested seeds of these fruits pass through their digestive systems unchanged in this way seeds are dispersed from the plant some seeds like cockleber the tura and tiger claws have spines or hooks these seeds stick to the bodies of animals or birds and are carried away human beings and animals eat fruits like mango jamun and cherries and throw away their seeds resulting in their dispersal dispersal by explosion some fruits like pea poppy balsam and bean burst open scattering the seeds away from the plant 
Evidences for next week's class. For the first session, answer the questions on pages 63 and 64 in your science textbook. The answers will be checked in class. You do not need to send the answers. For the second session, complete the exercises on pages 66, 72, and 73. Enjoy learning about seeds, fruits, and plants. Thank you.